Uh, Sunday, April 19th, and I'm at the fairgrounds. I had to go up to Ludington, uh, check on the, the other house, and uh, was going to make a couple stops and uh, do some detecting that way, but then the fairgrounds was calling me. I just can't stay away from here. But today, the arena's over that way. I'm going to go work that a little bit, and if I don't get much over there, I'm going to come back over here and see if I can scrape up some clad and maybe a silver. At least hopefully a wheat today. Get back with you. Well, it's really windy out here today, so hope the wind isn't too bad, but there's the truck. Got a dime and a penny, and I think I just got a silver. Let's see, come on, it's got to be silver. Let's see what we get. It's silver, and it's a rosy. Sweet, and there I go wiping the coins again. But I got silver 23, 1947. 1947D, so sweet, silver 23 for the year, and I just got here. So yeah, like I said, it's still here. I'm just gonna go nice and slow, work my way over to that arena, if I ever make it there, and see if we can get some more. Sweet. Well, so far in the arena, just a couple pennies and a dime, and I just scored ring number 12 for the year. Looks like a little junker. Ring in high. But sweet, ring number 12, we'll get her cleaned up and yeah, it's just a little junker. But sweet, ring 12 for the year. Sweet! Well, hopefully the wind's not too bad, but I just got silver number two, which was really unexpected. It was reading about four inches down, but it's a Warren Merck and it's a 19 something. But uh, I was reading about four inches down. But actually, it was like right there, right barely underneath the surface, and I just missed it up with the plug starting off. So it was only maybe an inch or two down of that. It looks like 1918 or 1919 maybe. I don't know, pretty worn, but I'll take it. That's silver two for the day. Awesome. Wrapping up for the day and walking back over this way, and I just got me another silver. That's silver three for the day. That makes 25 for the year now. And this one's going to be a 1943, it looks like. Sweet. 1943, D maybe. I don't know. That's three for the day. Gotta love this hobby. So yeah, I'm up to 25 silvers now. The reason this place keeps calling me back. <laughs> well, I checked the plug, and would you look at that. Another Merc. 1937. Woohoo! Doesn't look like there's a mark on this one, but that's number four for the day, and number 26 silver for the year. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well, Will Hornbuckle was wondering about the floor mat that I use and the piece of rubber. That's all it is, is an old car floor mat. Cut a little piece, cut a hole in it. And this is the hook that JMO made for my T-handled shovel, just a piece of wire that he had bent up and made it in the right uh, shape. And it, I, it works great. And this rubber mat, Works a lot better in my opinion than a towel because it doesn't hold the dirt as much and it just it works good. It's convenient. You're not unfolding the towel, laying it down and hoping all the dirt goes back in. This gets the dirt in there really good. And my little shovel, my lash, um, one of the guys, he put a door handle on the end of his and he thought of me and he said, try this out. I thought, well, okay, I will. And, uh, I didn't wait long enough for the epoxy to totally set, so that's why the dirt's all over the top of it. But all I did was um, shave the end off with a grinder and Gorilla epoxy it on. And it makes a big difference and helps with the wrists. And can't remember what kind of digger he has, but it worked on his too. So give that a try. But now on to the wrap up. I was only there maybe three and a half, four hours today. And uh, there's my clad. Somebody actually drilled a hole in a memorial penny. And another lock and key and a little cap off something. And this, since it was by the horse arena, just a little thing off a of bridle or something, I don't know. Something to do with horses. A little heart shape. And, well, this I didn't find today. It was just a, I stopped at Wally Mart. And it's a 1947D. I got that in my change. And then for the good stuff, I ended up with a little earring, then ring number 12 with just a little junker. There's no marks in it or anything, but I might test that later. I don't know, because it did clean up halfway decent. 
And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more weights. A 1915 and a 1918 are the oldest. Then a couple in the 30s and a couple 50s and a 40s, I think. Then I did get four more silvers. So that puts me at 26 for the year. And that's going to be a 1919. It's really worn. Never know the date on that one or the mint mark on it if there even was one. And a 1937, a 1943D, and a 1947D. So I'm at 26 silvers, 12 rings, and I haven't counted my wheats. So anyway, happy hunting, everybody. Best wishes, and see you soon.